Oh, this episode is going to be so good. I just got back from a church rummage sale that I literally stumbled upon by accident. And at that rummage sale, I got this purse and this gold ring. It's gold and it glows. I'm in daylight right now. Buckle up, buckle up. It's going to be a good one. So I was on my way to Rift and I got lost. I took a wrong turn and I found a church rummage sale that I had no idea existed. Look at this place. And there's jewelry right in front of me, right here. And that's a Chanel bag that she's got. All right. That's pretty. Jewelry boutique, five people at a time. Somebody come out, you can come in. All right, thank you. That's a cute little faux Chanel. How do you know how much things are? How much is it? Yeah. See, oh, there it is. That's how you know. 40. I'm going to take that. Um, I'm still waiting for my turn. I might get that one too. Okay. Yeah. Oh. For somebody else driving. Oh yeah. No, that's not. That's it's it's how it's day. Oh, Barbie pink. No, we don't need it. Okay. You want to go? I'll hold. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, I love this. It's beautiful. Super plated little Tiffany type box. Those are good. We'll get those. I like finding sterling in the first 30 seconds. That bodes well. Ooh, look at that. Thank you very much. It's kind of cool. Little sea thing. Ooh, little Swarovski bird. Um, I can't get used to the light. Oh, that's fabulous. That's fabulous. That will go in there. Um, these are kind of cool little hashtags. See, it's like hashtag. These are pretty. Little threaders. I like those a lot. We'll get those. Put it in there. Oh, what is this? Thank you so much. Very much. That's great. Little compact. Little pill box. Yeah, little pill box. Look at that bag. That we'll get. I think I need a little tray of some kind. Oh, I see a butterfly. Very, very costume. This, that's like old sterling from Express. Wait, oh, this is pretty. Wait, no. Like Avon. Nice. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Crystal. That's a vintage. That's cool. We'll get that. Oh. That's fun. This turns out to be one of the best things I've found in a very long time. It is not just fun. That's fun. We'll get that. Just the fun ones. We'll get that. I have no idea how much these things are. Not that one. That's pretty. We'll get that. Another little wrap ring. Okay, what is this? Ooh. Is that golf? No, it's just abstract. That's that's kind of fun. I'll check that with the loop. And then there's all these little guard type things. 
super fun. Okay. 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 Ok
dollars. That's faux. That's nothing. Okay, more modern. This is this looks good, but it's it's more modern. That's interesting. Not really anything. Those are cool. These are vintage. Pretty little commas. Look at that. These are more common. Oh my, look at this. This is a front and back. These are fun to find. Yeah, these are these are really, really fun to find. Okay. Oh, there's more. Oh, look at all these fun little things. Little figures. Okay, I love this one. Oh, a space opened. Yay, space opened. This is my little area. Ooh. That's super cool. We're going to check. That's together. Those two pieces together for the set are 20. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to, I need to look at it with my eyes in this light. It's so. Take your time, of course. Yeah. Her bag. Okay. No problem. I like this little case. Yes. That's five. This little leather box with all these little. Needs in it. This is an old leather box. Okay. So that bracelet you're not taking? The one that was. Okay. So, which bracelet am I Ooh, not I like oh, this. that other one that you tried on? You don't want it, right? No. Okay. okay. That's so cool. Five, five and ten, ten. Three, thirteen. Okay. And then what's that? We're going to look. Looks like it's a 16. Oh, oh yeah. Two. We're going to look at three. that. Three. My little pile. And this is like an eye cream. I had to just throw it in. And throw it in because you're sweet and you're pleasant and nice. I throw it in. Oh, is that is that, that how you do it? Work and I just found out this is here and I just like ah. when you ask things with kindness, I get back with kindness. Mm -hmm. A hundred percent. It's what you radiate, it's right? It's how you convey and how you I'm say in things. I'm hotel business and I know. Sixteen. Yes. Very pleasant. Very nice. Nice lady. Oh, big fun. <laughs> it is it's like big fun. Little fine, right? So fun. I don't get to do this. I'm always working. Oh, these Good are for pretty. You. These are Thank so you pretty. so much for coming. We these... Are these gold? Comment below. Yes or no. That's the so necklace cool. I just I got. got <laughs> oh, thank you very much. These look pretty. Very sweet. Yeah, I didn't even match, but I didn't really want. Yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Whose bag is this? You forgot it? Oh, yours. No. That's yours, right? No. Okay. No. Okay. I didn't bring a bag. I should have. Okay. Cool. So Kathy said, All right, we'll check that with the link. Yeah, okay. 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 This is the burlap from that drawer. These are really cool. Look at that. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna check all this stuff now. Stand by. Um we'll say eight for those. Okay. So I can't read this. This says something. What does it say? Well, look at that with the loop. Eighty six. Oh a crash. Eighty nine. Let me get over to the other side. Can I squeeze in over here? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's pretty. This one's not marked. I'll ask about that. I'm listening to you, by the way, <laughs> just so you know. I'm multitasking in my head. That's pretty. Little butterflies. 
Sterling. Okay. Yeah. I know what it is. Like once you get your spot, you don't want to yeah. give it up. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to look at that one. I don't think so it is. 123. Another three for those, 126. Mm -hmm. They just need to be cleaned up. They find them Yeah, they glued the purse. Yep. They thought it was pretty and they found it. Yeah. yeah. This is pretty. Just use a little bit more uh, cleaner on it. See the back? I love it. A little bit more and it'll be fine. Yeah. With each, if it doesn't work with the polishing fluff, use the other one that like you can buy from the supermarket. It's like in a jar, and I'm sure it'll yeah. come out okay. This I like. Yeah. Does I put it need the to jewelry be in the purse, okay? Right. Okay. Oh, thank you. That's smart, smart, smart. I might not be done. I might be done. I might not be done. That one goes back over there. Those I saw. I think I saw them. Oh, Lauren Conrad. Okay. It is so dark. I just noticed that they have a jar. No, we're not. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. That's interesting. Oh, I missed these for 20. All right, we don't, this, does it have, are there three of them? Like no class, because that is perfect for the, this was like meant to be, because these are perfect for the project that I'm making with the new clasps. They're beautiful. All right, we'll get those. I'm going to give them another 20. I'm this is adding up. Oh, what's this? No, that's nothing. All right, we'll give them another 20. And oh, I found something else. So how much is going down? Just in case how much stuff stains on it though. Look at it. That's fabulous. So you know something, 10 to 25. All right, we'll check that. Oh, how am I seeing things that I didn't just see? This is, it's so crazy how my brain works. All right, I'm going to check that. And then we'll go out in here. This is going to be fun. I like them together. Okay, so this says Napier. But it's a really good quality one. It reminds me of my favorite Swarovski pin that I always play with. So we'll get that um, and that. Hopefully, they'll give me a good price for both. I really like this. I don't remember seeing anything like this ever. I'm going to check it. I shall check that one as well. And just do one more sweep. Also, you know, stay stay for the, the haul at the end because I will go over everything I bought, how much I paid, why I got it, where it's good to, you know, if it's good for auction or for sale, right? These are interesting, unsigned. These look like old something, like old Carol Lee or something. I should check those, maybe Monet. I don't know. They're not my favorite. Hi, I'm Hi. still here. Oh, okay. I found more as I was leaving. That's kind of fun. Look at... Yeah, we don't need it. We don't need it. Ooh, that's very faux. That is very faux. Let me know in the comments if you thought it was a mistake to get the faux Chanel for 40. Um, I just, I was thinking that, oh, this is, um, uh, with. I think there's a tiny little on the end. Yeah. Um, yeah, this this probably came with a watch or a knife, so 
we'll put that back. If there's any other little cool small ones. This, this one's very nice. This is a very nice quality little leather. It doesn't, uh, no marks of any kind, but very nice. I'm going to get that because I have purses that I sell. I'll put that inside it. Unless, I mean, depending on price. Depending on price. That's cute. Now, you know how I always talk about putting good pins on evening bags? This is exactly what I'm talking about. You put a good pin over that and you have something really great. See the shape? And it's so much better than a new evening purse you buy to, to, that's made today just to like use one time and throw away. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's my little pile. Time to pay again. Uh, eight, And there's more over here. That feels real. We'll check that. Forty-seven, thirty-nine, and thirty-nine, oh. and eight. Forty-seven. Little treasure. Little, little treasure. We'll check that. Okay. Oh, also this. I love that. Okay. I'm going to check a bunch of things with the loop. So here's my process. This is just fantastic. So depending on the price, no marks of any kind. That's BSK. Signed BSK. Amazing condition. I thought it was fake vintage. It's not. It's early this i'm just hoping they kind of throw it in for me i just love it it's not you know it's just a fun thing this i'm gonna put back it's very costume okay i have a whole other pile if i was smart i would have put them all together <laughs> you gave me a deal anyway i think i did yes you did you know but it's pretty and you can't find pins as nice as this today that's exactly right. That's right? how I feel about it. I'm telling you, say 50 to all three of them. Let me see them again. 50. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Yeah, that is March 20. Where do we go from here? It's a nice blazer. It's like an old pinwheel corduroy, probably 70s. Yeah, correct. See the label? Correct. That's all made of shell. That's interesting. All right. Candles and glass. Dolls. Oh, there's more glass over here. Crystal, I guess. There's some pink depression glass. We'll have a look at this. That's pretty. That's very pretty. Supposed to be two of these. Oh. It says home stores gifts home stores gifts okay let's look and see if there's any fun mirrors or anything like that see if there's anything oh la la hello okay so i have one exactly like this that i love this one is like a yellow lucite. Oh my God, I love it. That is such a score for me, everybody. I can't even believe it. That's a yes. I got 23 pieces, including the purse, for about $200. And I did really really well these i love we'll get back to those turns out there's four strands instead of three look at the colors on that these turned out to be much better than i thought a lot of this turned out to be very good and i did have a hunch and i was correct so the purse when i first picked it up i thought it was faux and then when I got it home and I started inspecting it and I saw the um, embossed 
Chanel on the inside made in Italy and the lining and how good the quilting was. And the little tag on the inside, which is made of suede, which is where the serial number would have worn off. There was a lot of things that really looked 100% like Chanel. And I started to think that it really was an authentic Chanel bag. And then I noticed the tassels. And there's a screw here. There's an exposed screw right here. And I've never seen that in a Chanel bag. So I'm going to say uh, probably not inexpensive. With this kind of leather, they're called replicas. And it's a really nice replica. And I'm going to be keeping it and using it for a while. This I love. This reminds me of the Elsa Peretti. It was probably sold by QVC. I'm sure it's silver plated and that's an anti-tarnish. So that's really nice. And I paid $3 for that. These usually sell at auction starting at around 20. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, I think I might just put this under the video on the shelf in my YouTube store under the video. So if you like that, look under the video and see if it's there. These I'm so happy about. There turns out to be, I thought there was three strands. It turns out that there's four. Look at the different colors. Can you see there's gray, silver grays strands in there. And I'm sure those are gold beads. I paid $20 for all four strands. And these are exactly, I feel like I manifested these because they're exactly what I wanted for the jewelry designs that I'm going to be making soon with my lingerie pins. Very happy about those. This one I'm totally in love with. This reminds me so much of the Swarovski pin that I use all the time to play. This is actually a Napier. It's a really, really high-end one. This was definitely their A-line. Look at the size of that. That is gorgeous. There's what it looks like on the pearls. These, first thing out of the box, these are incredible. Look at these pillow clip-ons. These are marked A-T-I-M-E-X. Okay, these are old sterling. There's the mark. A-T-I-M-E-X, so something Mexi Mexico. Really nicely made. Those will be coming up at auction, and I will be starting those at probably $45. This one, oh, the vintage foiled opal glass, 1960s, perfect condition, beautiful, bright, Large, what a score. Um, I don't know how much I paid for this. Look, look at the back. Look at how that was made. I don't know what I paid for this because it was bundled all together, but I will be starting that at auction at $50. This one we're coming to. Don't worry, all three of these we're coming to. This one was costume, just a little costume. It's almost a... a, a like a gumball machine ring, <laughs> but it's, you know, it's a lesson learned, right? This, this is a copy of a very expensive piece from the 1980s. Yeah, I think it's called a Bellari, a Bellari. It's probably Anne Klein or Carolee. I can't believe I didn't get the Carolee earrings that were right next to this that matched the uh, the necklace that I just sold recently from the Extreme Collector Estate. They they seemed heavy for the ears, so I, that's why I was thinking maybe not that useful. But look at the beautiful construction of this. Um, this is gorgeous. I just I love. Uh, there's just so much you can do with this. I like the different shape of the crystals. Really really beautiful. That's kind of a forever vintage piece from the 1980s. Things like this will always be around. These, these little 1950s comma rhinestones, really well made baguettes. Look at the inside, that's rhodium plating. Beautiful forever pieces. This is stunning. 
Look at the construction of this. This is so well made. You know, they really were after like making everything look real. Look at the back. Rhodium plating. Now I was sure I was going to find a Boucher mark or a Panetta or something like that. And I found no mark. Look at the way the clasp is constructed. That's what it looks like closed. Look at that. Just such beautiful Art Deco design there. That was a score. This one I just loved. Look at the size of that. It needs a new bail. It's beautifully done, both sides. Gorgeous uh, costume, right? Gold plated look. Nice old paper on the inside and look who's there. Look at her. How wonderful is this piece? And I love that it's an oval. This is such a wonderful piece. Very happy with this one. These are coming up. This was designed by an artist. I was very surprised to see that she gave me the little card that was on. That made me happy. This is not, I thought it was Judith Jack or, you know, one of the usual suspects. No, this is much better. This is artist made. Look at the bridge work there. And it is signed in the back with a hallmark that I cannot make out. I'm going to start that at auction at 45. BSK. Gorgeous early. Look at that. This is a good one. I love the polished and the textured together. So many good things about this. The size is amazing. Uh, it's a sort of brutalist signed BSK. Great rare signature. These at auction usually started around 40 or 45. That's what I'm going to be starting that one at at auction. And again, look at it just with pearls. This one, I just loved this little sort of utilitarian safety pin. I'll be keeping that, but it does count in the total for all the pieces. The threaders. Now, I had a feeling about these because people often mistake these for costume and they turn out to be gold. These are, in fact, gold filled or gold plated and CZ. Beautiful design. I love the way threaders work. Um, they're due for a comeback. Look at the nice CZ. Uh, because everything, uh, everything 2000s is so hot right now. People have really embraced the, the their classic styles now. They're not trends anymore. These, hello sleeper. These are gold. These are 14 karat gold and pearl. Lovely, lovely pearls. Those were a score. I don't know what I paid because they were bundled in. These, I love the wire on these. I thought that these were genuinely old because of the construction of the wire. And um, I think they're tourist damascene. Uh, they're probably 1970s, but beautiful just the same. I will be sending these to the case. I have a vintage jewelry case in Las Vegas in the Good Stuff Thrift Store and Collectible Market there, Danny Ackerman's store. So those will be going in that case, as well as the little cockatiel, cockatoo. I love him. What's not to love? He's got some stones missing. Doesn't detract. You can barely tell. See, oh, there it is. It's just one. It's the same color. So that is going to the store in Nevada. And these total score, these are harder and harder to find. Um, I've had these before and uh, sold one pair and then all their friends came in looking for more. See, the great thing about this is that they're clip on and they go, they hug the ear. So they're not pierced. They're, they're vintage 1950s or 60s. They make that ring shape and they go behind the ear. Incredible design, pretty rare, good score. And now it's time to get to the crazy showstoppers. 
We'll start with this one. This is Sterling and CZ, okay? That is signed on the inside. A beautiful ring, uh, multi-prong, gorgeous. This one, the mid-century brutalist. When was the last time you saw Tiger's Eye with that pattern? Do you see what it's doing there? It almost looks like ribs and fruit. And this is true brutalist. Look at the design on that. There it is that way. Okay, which way do you like better? Let me know in the comments how you would wear it. I like it better this way. Look, look what this does. That tests as a gemstone. I'm not going to say what it is until I can get it to a jeweler. It is also a beautiful 10 karat gold setting. Look, look at the cut on that. That is marked 10 karat gold. A beautiful little lovely, lovely ring. And that will be coming up at auction. These, my friends, were my hunch because this was made by one of my favorite jewelry designers. This is an early piece. This is, this is early. This is an early design. This is before he did licensing, before he was with QVC, before it was RLM Studio. This is sterling and amethyst, and it is solid and heavy and organic and beautiful. And it's an omega over a post, and it has the very early mark, just RLM in block letters. Look how beautiful these are. These sit on the ear going up. So, the, so this is the top. You see that? This is genius in my mind. And here is the mark. I have auctions twice a week, Wednesdays and Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern. You can text Hello Dawn to 917-809-7250 to get free alerts when I go live with an auction or a sale or a pop-up. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.